My lords, I need a moment with my father. Maybe she has something up her sleeve. Yes, she does. Of course, Always Cersei. do. Maybe she wants to invade with you. What do you do? Oh. Preparing the expedition north. Are you there? Expedition north. Oh. I always knew you were the stupidest nest. She has something up her sleeve. The Starks and Targaryens have united against us and you want to fight alongside them. Are you a traitor or an idiot? You've clashed our forces to fight our common enemy. I'll say whatever I need to say to ensure the survival of our house. She's not done. You expect me to trust the man who murdered our father. She can lie. You expect me to command our troops to fight beside foreign scum. To fight for the Dragon Queen. Let the monsters kill each other. And while they battle in the north, we take back the lands that belong to us. And then what? And then we rule. Do you really think your and Greyjoy turn tail and sail back to the Iron Islands? Do you think he abandoned the chance to marry the Queen? No one walks away from me. That was the plan. his feet to Essos. He's going to ferry the Golden Company back here to help us win the war for Westeros. So now Danny and John will suspect it. You plotted with your and Greyjoy without telling me the command of your armies. And you conspired with Tyrion, the man who murdered our father without telling me your queen. I didn't conspire. You met with him in secret without my consent. You planned to promote my enemy's interests. That is the definition of conspiracy. I pledged to right north. I intend to honor that pledge. And that would be treason. Treason? Disobeying your queen's command, fighting with her enemies. What would you call it? Doesn't matter what I'd call it. That's the last straw. He's done with her. She told you no one walks away from me. Don't do anything stupid. Are you going to order him to kill me? Give the order that. <sighs> He's saying the same thing as Tyrion. She said no to Tyrion. She was saying no to James. <laughs> No, 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 please. You just, just lost him for all. Oh. I don't believe you. Oh, who? No, 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 no. I got fucking scared there for a second. He's leaving her. He's finally leaving her. He made the right choice, guys. Finally, she's alone now. No, she has you wrong. She has yeah, well. Baby and coming. No, we must not show it. It's starting to snow. Oh, winter is here. Oh. Oh. Gosh, I'm happy you left. Oh 
hers, and she is mine. He looks oh, so much like he's there. Yes. Until the end of my days. Oh. The rebellion was built on a lie. I think I'm gonna cry. My God, did you kidnap my aunt or rape her? No. Oh. <laughs> if you were wondering whose room is that? I loved her. John and Danny's team. And she loves him. Because yes, they have a theme song now. Go get it, boy! But we... Now it's confirmed that they're a nephew and aunt. <laughs> Make a bond between the family. He's not there to discuss alliances. Oh. And Tyrion not knows that. that. Tyrion knows that. Oh. And it's not a bad thing. Thing, technically, John. cousins have married forever. John's real name. His name is. His name is Egon Targaryen. Egon Targaryen! Okay. Give me the booty, give me the booty, give me the booty. <laughs> you uh, know something, John Snow? You've never been a bastard. He's the heir to the Iron Throne. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh! I waited for this for long, you can't. <laughs> Are you? Ah! Not the <laughs> sex thing, the heir to the Iron Throne thing. <laughs> It's tears of joy, okay? Yes, to know. We need to tell him. Oh. It's tears of joy. I waited for the easy air to the oh. drone thing. So much motion right here. I never could have survived what you survived. You would have. You're the strongest person I know. I believe that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, don't get used to it. <laughs> Still very strange and annoying. Father. When the snows fall and the white winds blow, the lone wolf dies. But the pack survives. Good girls. I miss it. Oh. Yeah. Me too. We miss him too. But he's watching over you and he's so proud of his little girls, okay? And his boys too. Let's not forget him. <laughs> oh gosh, they're here.
I really hope Tormund and Beric are still alive. Maybe they ran far enough to survive. They're like close to a month away from the hotel. And there's nothing between them now. Uh, holy shit! <laughs> but I predicted it! <laughs> it's not ah! to see it. Oh. I, I cannot stop thinking about what Aegon, uh, not Aegon, Aemon Targaryen said. God help us all if they cross or anything like that. If we're not ready, winter is coming, and God help and help us all if they're not if we're not ready. Well, I don't think they, I don't think they are ready for that. <laughs> Nobody's gonna <laughs> be ready Sir, for that. Nobody. Not Sir C, uh, but Jamie's still left. She Finally, understood just what was right to do. She keeps the <sighs> army. Guys, 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 we're done with season seven. <laughs> a year. Yeah, Maybe two. great. Maybe that was great, but <laughs> one a year before the next season. This episode was really great. Oh, I think it was my favorite of the whole oh season. Yeah, me too. Yeah. A great finale. So many things that we knew were gonna happen happened, but it's still satisfying, you know, to see Jamie leave, Danny and John together, hearing the famously like he's heir to the throne because they never said it before. I knew Cersei was gonna do something crazy. Tyrion yeah. talking no. to her was good. Yeah, that surprises me. I was like, just she's just mad crazy. She's well, we angry. Just, she's gonna do something. But no, crazy finally about she it. had a plan and all. Well, no, what surprised me was when she said, we're going to help you. I was like, wow, did she finally see reason? Like, is she going to help for real? But the second and she said, yeah. yeah, I was like, I started to like you, girl. Why are you doing this? But Jamie saw through that bullshit. Finally. Gosh, he didn't kill her, but she tried to uh, keep him with the, the baby thing. You need to stay. We have a baby. Fuck that. If I stay, there's still no baby after that. And he's right. Honor is important to Jamie more than anything right now. And he, he swore that he was going to help and he saw the true threat. I don't think he's, he thinks he's betraying Cersei. I think he's helping her by not staying Following with her. her. Yeah. So in his mind, he's probably thinking, I'm saving my child and Cersei and the Lannisters by going north. So even though she's going to hate me for that, that's, the right that's what thing I need to, to do. do. That's exactly what he did with the Mad King. Yeah. Everybody, everyone's gonna hate me for killing him because I destroyed my hope, but that's what I need to do. He's always been about duty and stuff, so this is good. He finally left. He's, oh. he's always, he has believing before the believing of my queen or mm. king for the time of the Mad King. He does what's right. Yes. No matter what yeah. people think of him. In his belief. That. Yeah. <sighs> so, and what Brienne is gonna do once he gets to their camp, because I'm guessing he's going to join with Tyrion and uh, the, and Dan the Danny nuts. and John. It's like a, a square, uh, love square, it's a love square. Brian, Jamie, Tormund, and the Hound. Uh, I don't think the Hound has any romantic feelings towards Brian. I don't think so, I think too. he just respects her. Well, yeah, it's a she's a great warrior. Yeah, because she's the only of one who ever brought him down. A rival, down. just like a rival, not well, an enemy, a rival. Yeah, but she's the only one who ever brought him down, yeah. so respect, girl. And the same thing for Brienne. He gave her a challenge, and she respects that. And he survived. That's that's cool. He's still alive. And he's yeah. still doing. He's doing the right thing. He wanted to protect Arya, and now he's fighting for Daenerys. So I think Brienne appreciates that, and that's why she she went and talked to him and told him about Arya. And they're going to Winterfell. So season eight, they're gonna get there, and Jon is gonna be like, "Hey guys, this is my new uh, paramour." And they're gonna be like. It's your, your aunt. <laughs> what? You're the heir to the throne. What? I'm pretty sure that. You're as... a Targaryen. What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure as soon as he learns that Danny is his aunt, there's gonna be some kind of awkward moment between these yes. two. Like, he's not gonna wanna talk to her for a little while because he's not gonna feel honorable enough. Like, he's gonna be like, You're family. I'm not supposed to do that with family. Damn it. But he, he's, still, he's, he's in love with her now. So it's kind of too late. <laughs> the hearts want what it wants. Yeah. I'm so happy that he's found love again. Because after Ygritte, it was so hurt, broken. 
And same thing with Danny. Yeah. Like what she had with Dario and the Harris, that was just sex. Yeah. But you she saw. never let someone like drug at when they see each other in each other's eyes. That was so much so passionate. So so much exactly love. the look she gave him. That yeah. was oh, love. The look John gave to. Yeah, Daenerys. well, that's the thing. Like he's never allowed himself to love anyone ever since Igret, yeah. and she's never allowed herself to love anyone since Drogo. Yeah. And now they they they, they opened their each hearts. Other. Yeah, they opened their hearts to each other, and even though yeah. they're aunt and nephew, like I mean, in in medieval times, cousins used to marry all the time. Like it was. Yeah, a, like I told yeah, you, to like all the, the, pure blood in the, the monarchy line. was like uh, like the prince of it's which kingdom, like the cousin of anything, yeah. and they were like making alliances. Yeah, so it wasn't really considered incest. Uh, the only question is gonna be like, are they gonna see it? The Westerosi way, where it's okay to marry like a cousin to cousin or anything, yeah. or are they gonna see it, see it our way, where it's a bit weird <laughs> to Awkward. have sex yeah, with your aunt? Game of Thrones world, Targaryens marry each other in their families, or maybe like be more okay. than aunt and nephew. It was like sisters sister and, and brother. Brothers. Yeah, yeah, but John was raised a Stark, is and it? as a Stark, you do not marry your sister. Well, yeah. he yeah. doesn't she, see her as a she sister. Is hunt. And now that's he, why I'm, he didn't grow up with her. That's why I'm against, um, like, you know, there are people shipping him and Sansa, or him and Arya, and I guess mm. I, I'm like... Mm. Yeah, but John Mountain did kind of chip John and Arya and his mind and his book. Yeah, and... but what, why it bothers me is because he grew up thinking they were sisters. And that doesn't go away. Like as soon as he's being told, yeah, like, you're a Targaryen, you're our cousin. He's not gonna stop seeing Bran, Sansa, and Arya as his no. siblings. Technically, he's gonna have to say like they're my cousins, but he's gonna think but of them as his siblings. It's like Theon. Yeah. He says he was his brother. Well, yeah, he it's was the same his... thing. He grew God together, his brothers and, and sisters. Stark. It's like it, it will. It's the same thing with Arya. It's, she will stay her sister. Yes, She's gonna that was so sister. cool, guys. Sansa and Arya, I knew they were planning oh, something. I, she freaked me out. I foresaw it. I said it was really... If it, if Sansa was playing by... Little Fingers. Little right? Fingers, it was like really boring. But if she, she, she back, If she was being played by yes. Little Finger, yeah. If she, she was played by Little Finger, it would it, be yeah. another... She will stay a puppet, it will be boring for the season. But now, like I said, I knew too. I knew it too, like, that she was playing, she was playing a game. And I was afraid she didn't tell Arya, but I think she did. Um, when she yes. realized that Arya was starting to, you know, kind of... Uh, aggressive? Think, be aggressive, yeah. Right, she like, she hey. went to her and said, hey girl, I don't want to take John's place. Let's, I think Littlefinger is trying to manipulate us. And she, I think she saw it, that was... When she, when he told her, like, try to imagine the worst thing she could do, I think that's when she kind of realized, he's definitely trying to put me against my sister, let's put him down. Yeah. She went to Arya after that, and um, and they asked Bran for, uh, for proof. When you have the three-eyed raven beside you, you, you cannot never lose. You go wrong, no. <laughs> and that was such but an little amazing finger, thing. He tried so much for Sansa to, you know, uh, pity him. And not Please. kill him. I'm he cried. cried. I love you. And yet, Peter Village. Peter Village. Yeah. Yes. I love oh. your mother. And yet, you betrayed her. Please. I love you so much. And yet, you betrayed me. I don't <laughs> think it was a uh, sadness, or you know, because because she was uh, she was on his side anymore. I don't think it was that. I think it was an act so he could survive it. Because Littlefinger, yes, he does love Sansa. He did love Catelyn Stark. But he I think he like loves her. he loves the throne. Even Love power. Died, like died like yeah. You're tr you're right. He died I, like I think it's Stark. justice in this way. It's justice because he didn't, you know, hold the knife to Catelyn's throat. But it's kind of his fault if she died. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of his fault. Anything. It's kind happened. of. It's his fault. He start everything. I just know. To make, to, just to have the power. The freaking letter at the beginning. John Aaron's death. That was what started everything, and he's yes. done that. Ned Stark wouldn't be dead if it wasn't for him. It's the true cause of everything. It's the true cause of the Game of Thrones. Which is why I'm happy he's dead, but there is a slight bit of respect in my heart for Peter Baelish. Because even though he was the bad guy, he played the Game of Thrones like a god. He was master yes. at it, yeah. Like, I'm, 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 I'm a bit like Varys in this... Uh, like, I'm pretty sure Varys learns that Littlefinger is dead. He's gonna be happy, but oh, he has respect for the dad. Like, That's great. 
No, but he, he told Baelish in one of the seasons, I don't remember which one, but he told Baelish, or he told someone about Baelish, I respect the man. He's my enemy, he's my, you know, my nemesis, but I respect him. You should never respect your enemy, guys. Always. Oh, yeah, yeah. Respect your enemy, because if you underestimate them, if you don't think they're that's worth it, that's your downfall. And that's what Sansa didn't do. Like, she played the game. She learned from Peter Baelish. He tried to bring the game she in Winterfell. She surpassed the master. And she crossed her him. Sansa went to the Bannermen and, like, the ones that Peter Baelish was trying to put against Jon, like Royce and, uh, I still forgot, Glover. Glover. And uh, he told them to trust Sansa and put their trust in Sansa. And they did, only for her to tell them that Peter Baelish was the bad guy instead yeah. of John. That was so awesome, guys. Yes, I knew it! And now the North is safe from Peter yeah. Baelish, but not, but not from, from the, the White Walkers. Walkers. No. Do you think that Winterfell will fall? Fall? Winter is gonna fall on Winterfell? Not the oh, trip. <laughs> no, I, um, I kind of have a, uh, this battle scene in my head. Like, I think they're gonna fight at Winterfell against the White Walkers. But, but Winterfell, there is something special about about this castle. Because Bran the Builder built it, and Bran the Builder with Azor Ahai, they destroyed the, the Night Kings. Like, the Night King way before the beginning of Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. And he built Winterfell. And they, there is this saying that there must always be a Stark in Winterfell. And in the books, they or at least in, in the fandom, there's a kind of a question, maybe it means more than just, you know, a great saying. Like, maybe there must always be a Stark in Winterfell because there is something magical about the place. And that could be freaking cool. Like, if there was something maybe. about Winterfell that could defend them against the White Walkers, that would be great. Maybe more like a prophecy, like, if there's a Stark in Winterfell, the, 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 the castle will stay... Will stand? Maybe. Will stand, maybe. And now they have three starts in Winterfell. Yeah. And one Targaryen on the way. <laughs> yeah. One half Targaryen, half Stark. On the way. So it's gonna be freaking cool, but they have giants, they have a dragon, oh. and they have so many whites. I mean, the dragons could pretty much kill all the whites easily, but um, the dragon... That's gonna be hard. <laughs> Especially if the Night's King is on the dragon's back. Yo, bitches, I'm coming! And we know that Winterfell can't stand one giant. We saw it with the Battle of Bastards. Well, so now they're like, there's like three or more uh, giants giant, coming. Three giants, What's cool about the giants the giant is like, the you, you, you set a giant on fire, it can roll around, just shed his clothes. You set a white giant on fire, forget that, he's gone. He's gonna yeah. burn. Like he's gonna. It's more weak, but it's still a no, giant. No, like it's gonna fight. Like the bear was on fire, and it still tried to, you know, kill Thoros. But eventually, it dies. You just need to let it burn away. So, but with dragon you fire, I think it's burn. gonna be way easier. Um, but the dragons are gonna be, you know, uh, taking care of their brother. Oh. So I think John needs to ride Rhaegal, mm. and uh, Danny needs to ride Drogon, and they need to fight the Night's King on Viserion, and it's gonna be. Epic! And Cersei, what is she gonna do in the south? Is she really gonna just hide away and wait for them to die? I just like that, she said. I, I just hope that by the end of the season, she can just realize that she needs to help the others. I think she's beyond that. She's not gonna... Like, it's too late. There's only one season left. She's not gonna have a change of heart. I'm guessing... I'm, I still think she's gonna lose the baby. And uh, now she's uh, with Euron, and since Jamie has left, she might marry Euron and like settle their alliance. And he's gonna bring back the Golden Company <clears throat> without John and Danny knowing because they think Euron left because he was a coward. Uh, so uh, that they had the plan. That was yeah, pretty great. but now Jamie's with them, so he can tell them about Euron. Yeah, true, true. I forgot Jamie's about that. Jamie's there now. Yeah, Jamie's there, so he can tell them. If they know, they can just set the boats on fire. Yep, they can. And Cersei is gonna try to attack from the south as they defend the north. Because now they left Dragonstone, they're on their way to Winterfell. Yep. So the south is all open for Cersei, all open for the taking. Everybody will go to the north. Yep. And fight. Why, girl? Why? <sighs> Tormund and Beric, are they dead? I hope not. I don't think I so. I think the season will start with uh, both of them. Yeah, that, that could be cool. Because we saw them, I, instead of running down, 
they ran across, like they went to the side. So when yeah. the wall fell, they were okay. I think they were on the side, so they're okay. And they saw everything fall. But now, what are they gonna do? Like, if they wanna go to Winterfell, they need to cross the army of the dead. They might send Backside the raven. Backside attack by two people? They might send the raven. They might go to Castle Black. We haven't yeah. been gone to, we haven't been to Castle Black this season. Yeah, the Night's Watch is still there. Anyway, I, but even still, the, the Night's Watch will also have to cross the army if they want to reach Winterfell or send a raven and maybe try to warn Jon, but Bran has seen it. Bran has seen it, so he knows. A good thing that Jon is on his way with Danny and the dragons. Yeah. Cause damn. Okay. Um, what did you think about Lyanna Stark and Rhaegar? Um, I was... Wedding. I was super happy with seeing it, but I was a bit disappointed with the actor they chose for Rhaegar. Why? Because, uh, yes, he looked a lot like Viserys, but he didn't look that beautiful. He was supposed to be super cute, and um, he wasn't... I thought it was going to be a certain actor, because there were rumors that a certain actor I saw on, on the web was going to play Rhaegar, and it wasn't him. But the actor I thought was going to play Rhaegar looked so much like Kit Harington, but with blonde hair, that I went like ballistic. That was so good, but I guess... They, they went with the Viserys look alike. Maybe it's the Santa, but without the beard. Well, I mean, we're not gonna see him... Well, we might see him next next season a bit. I don't know why, but we might see him again. But so far, from uh, what we've seen, he looked like Viserys, and it wasn't that bad. No, and it was so Viserys beautiful was to cute. see the wedding. I yeah. cried! <laughs> and, you know, intertwined I mean, with John and Danny's were making. The, re the reveal, <laughs> no, what, no, but the reveal of the love between Rhaegar and Lyanna, and the love as, at, and the reveal of Danny and, yeah, and John, and the reveal of John being heir to the throne, and at the same time you see John and Danny like they, sleeping together. They're great to do that. No, that was really good, really good, and at the same time, like Game of Thrones has a tendency of making us feel awkward about great scenes. Like, we're super happy for them, and at the same time, we're being reminded that she's his aunt and he's his, her nephew. So we're like, yes! Ah, yes! No! <laughs> <laughs> like, in season one, I saw this meme on Instagram. In season one, we see Jamie and Cersei, and we're like, ooh, incest, ooh! Season seven, we see John and Danny tap that ass! Come on, girl, <laughs> go get him! <laughs> same thing, same thing. That escalated quickly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Theon, yeah! Theon is on his way Always to save Yara. Always rush for the cockless guy. Like, the guy kept trying to hit him in the balls. <laughs> Why is he working? I don't have any more. <laughs> I don't have one anymore. He was supposed to know. Why did he keep trying to hit him there? <laughs> First time that his uh, cockless uh, crotch came in, it came Andy, was Andy, you know? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn! But it was great to see Theon finally step up. Yeah. I think he, he actually needed John to tell him, I forgive you. He needed a, like a father's speech, but t uh, at the beginning of season one, but well, he never received one. He felt like he betrayed the whole Stark family, and it's true, he did. But he needed someone from the Stark family telling him, we don't, you know, we forgive you. Forgive and John forgave him for, for what he could forgive. And I think Theon needed that to remind him that you're not hopeless, like, you still have a life, you're still alive, you can do the right thing. Now step up and go do the right thing, which is save Yara. And he's gonna do that, so he might fight Euron in season 8. And uh, it's gonna be <sighs> too. But Euron now is going to the Iron Bank. Right, to get the Golden Company. So Maybe right Theon, now we can save Yara. But Theon has like five men. <laughs> yeah. Like, more like... Twelve. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's not gonna fight the Golden Company, but he might uh, sneak in, and get Yara out. Yeah. Hey, we didn't see Gendry at all. No, yeah, that's what I was thinking. But Where he is probably he? stayed at Dragonstone. He wasn't important this episode, so yeah. He's got. He's coming to Winterfell. I'm pretty sure of it. I hope he's coming to Winterfell. Oh. Okay, guys. So predictions for season eight. What do you think gonna happen? I'm pretty sure, um, I don't want it to happen, but I think either Danny or John or both are gonna die uh, to save the realm. But I think that Danny might be pregnant after what they just did. They hinted at it so much, that would be great if she like felt something and went like, oh, I, do, I do believe that 
both John and Danny could make a miracle together. Yeah, maybe that's the miracle. But I think, yeah, my prediction, and I don't want it to happen at all, but I think that Danny is pregnant and John might sacrifice himself for the realm. Danny might die giving birth to her child. Or they might die both and leave like their, their son or daughter on the Iron Throne. The Song of Ice and Fire. Even though John is technically the Song of Ice and Fire, so would his child. So they might leave the world a better place for their child and die in the making. That would be pretty bittersweet. And George R. R. Martin said it was going to be bittersweet. So. Yeah. Some people do but think that... But the end of the novel, not the end of the series. Yeah, it's but like the series, something... I'm guessing they asked George about the end. Yes, they asked, but so, yeah. maybe they can choose another ending or a more... But they are still, you know, even though they went completely uh, away from what they used to do, people, you know, commented about that and they don't really like the direction that the series is taking. So, uh, but uh, they still wrote season 1 to 5 and even 6 and they were great. So I'm guessing that the writers won't give us a super sweet ending. That's not Game of Thrones like. Yeah. Yeah. Some people might think that if someone killed the Night King, he has to take his place. I hope not. Well, I saw a theory that Jon might kill the Night King, but be a, a, a bit in like a Benjin. Like with Dragon Glass and his art, so he's still in control, but he's dead. So he's in control of the army, and he might take the army north and just keep it there. So he's sacrificing himself for the south. And this is a theory that I both really like because that would be super epic, and I don't like it because it's super sad. Yeah. I don't want John to live in exile for the rest of his life, being half dead. Oh. I don't want Danny to die giving birth to her only child. And who will take care of him? Sansa, Arya, Tyrion. Davos, Tyrion. Yeah. <laughs> Jorah. Well, actually, Jorah doesn't take care of the child. I Jorah. said <laughs> Jorah, the friend zone lord. <laughs> Uncle. Take care of the baby, please. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> He's gonna call me father. No, uh, but um, uh, for the Starks, I think Bran is gonna survive. Arya is gonna survive too. But I fear for Sansa. She's done. You know, she's done her battle. She fought and uh, won against Peter Baelish. So it's now what's left for her? Done, yeah. yeah. So I'm a bit afraid for Sansa. <sighs> Torman, I still think he's gonna die. I'm sorry. Oh, Maybe. No, Maybe or is the last one standing? <laughs> Same thing for Jamie and Brianna. Uh, I still think that Jamie's gonna kill Cersei and either he's gonna die or live in exile for the rest of his life. Unless, now he's joining with Tyrion in the, in the army of Daenerys, so maybe Daenerys is gonna, you know, forgive him for killing her father. Because, yeah, he did kill the Mad King, even though it was the Mad King. Yeah, but if she knows why he did kill her father, maybe she can forgive him? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe in season 8 she will accept Jaime at her side. I do fear that... He might not if, be exiled. If, if Jaime do not kill Cersei at the end, that maybe his story is done, because... He chose to do the right thing by joining the Lord against the right, the knights, the, the dead army. Anyway, so yeah, I think Jamie's gonna kill Cersei, and Arya is, is gonna stay in the north. I, I fear for Sansa, but I think Arya is gonna survive. And John and Danny, well, uh, I'm gonna wait anxiously about that. Whew. Their fate is uh, open. Is well, yeah, open to for, anything. For, yep. So, how, what do you think of season seven? That was pretty great. Yeah. Pretty well, great. I I agree. I, we talked about it a bit later, earlier, but uh, we both felt. I think you felt it too. That this season was a bit. <laughs> you're gonna laugh when I say this, but slow. Um. Yeah. People were commenting that this this season goes really fast. Like they jump from place to place. Yes. And they travel uh, very wide distances pretty fast and I understand that you know we're at the end of the show they don't have time to show us the travel times yeah and even though it's a bit weird it's okay you just need to remember that many weeks passed in between episodes so Danny and John have known each other for at least a month not like a couple days so you know yeah. once you understand that you can you know move past it no. and this season has felt a bit slow like not many things happen well yeah many things happen but we didn't see it 
It was like a setup. Like I, I believe that season seven and eight go together, and we've just seen the first part of the finale. Yeah. The 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 building up part. So we're putting all the players in their place, and we're ready to fight this huge battle now, in season eight. Now there's the Night King coming. Exactly. What's gonna happen? They're part coming two. for the yeah. king now. So I'm I guess I'm guessing that season eight is gonna be pretty badass. But this season felt a bit. Eh, okay, like I wanted to see more battles. Uh, I know they didn't have time to show us everything, so yeah, okay. But the best battle for me was the loop train battle. Yeah. And um, I was a bit disappointed with last week's episode because it was different, but I had like, I had in my mind the Battle of the Bastards and Hardome and yeah. uh, Battle at the Wall and Blackwater, and this battle felt a bit like nothing was happening. It was still amazing, but it was different. This episode, though, was cool. I enjoyed the battle outside of the wall. Last, last week? Okay, uh, last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was interesting. It was nice to see uh, the battle of the dead fighting. Finally. Yeah, that was cool. What I mean is more that there was a lot of talking and a lot of silences <laughs> and a lot of waiting. And the battle, when it finally started, it kind of you know, was done in five minutes. So, well, but we we didn't have an army fighting the White Walkers. We had only, you know, the Suicide Squads. So. <laughs> but the season was still great, so I enjoyed it. Um, I'm still excited for season eight, and I hope you are too. You are, right? Yeah. I sure are. So we're gonna watch it next year. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, please don't make us wait any longer. Maybe oh. two years. Oh, come on. So thank you guys so much for watching season seven with us. We enjoyed watching it with you. It was a real pleasure to read your comments, your theories, what you think about the show. And if you want to stay with us, we're gonna watch Black Mirror and Vikings. Vikings. <laughs> and Vikings. So yeah. And until then for next season. Stay true fans. We'll see you next year. And be aware because the, the night, night is dark, dark and, and full of terrors. <laughs> Bye guys. You've done the bar! Stay there! Stay safe! It's been empty this whole time! Oh.